I've been fighting with Israel for seven years, but he's never been hitting this hard, this smooth. I'd be scared if I was Paul Acosta. I'd be scared to be a pad holder. I'm scared for Mike. Mike has to do drills with him next. I'm scared. He's dangerous, man. Savagery on a whole nother level. I can hold it. Cameraman kick off. Cameraman kick off. Cameraman kick off. Never come face to face before, so you look at someone and you know you're gonna fight him and get to look into his soul and see what's up, see if he's really down or not. But I'm more interested to see if uh, Izzy and Paolo are gonna be friends or not today. So, how you doing, Tony? How you doing? Good. I'm the co main, we'll let the main event guys do their thing. And uh, how many press conferences are on a beach? You know what I mean? That's pretty cool. Dana, I wanted to start with you and ask you about the significance of the main event, right? Just the second time in UFC history you'd have a men's title fight with an undefeated nice. champion, an undefeated challenger. Historically, what's the importance of this fight? Yeah, no, I love these kind of fights. When you have two of the baddest dudes in the world, undefeated, in their prime, facing off for the world title, nothing gets better than this. Israel, I wanted to ask you, I know we kind of just got here. We're out on a, on a beach right now, but what, what kind of energy are you picking up for Paulo right now? Weak from cutting weight. I can see he's sucked out, he's dry, the sun's affecting him. He's never made 185 on the dot. And that one pound, that 600 grams is a lot, especially if you've never been there before. But it's never really been an issue for me. I feel great, I don't feel drawn out. I can be in the sun all day, but I just like to relax when it's, when it's fight week. Paulo, let me ask you, I mean, we're looking at this as your power versus his precision, right? But I wonder, should we be talking more about your grappling, your jiu-jitsu background? Uh, are, are we looking at this fight the wrong way? Be before becoming uh, striking, I was grappling. I'm back bad jiu-jitsu. My brother is here, my coach. This fight can, can be on, on the ground also. He sucked as a I'm, grappler. I'm, Whenever he shoots, he loses his, his gas tank within the first or second you never, you never saw my grappling. No. You can't grapple. Bullshit. Bullshit. You blue belt of jiu jitsu. You know, I, I say not that about jiu jitsu. On the, on the yeah, blue Bravo. belt of jiu jitsu. I had him in a like a, you like a, a kid if I, if I grab your neck, trust me, I'm not going to give it back. Talk about jiu jitsu with me. You're crazy. <laughs> you never put one gear on your skinny boy. Yeah. Okay, so my question is for Jan. Jan, obviously, this is the huge moment for Polish MMA, and basically, everyone in Poland is talking about your fight. How it does it feel like two days before the, the event? Yeah, it's a historic moment for Polish MMA, MMA, and I'm excited, you know, I cannot wait to start fighting. Okay, and question for Don again for, for you. We see a lot of bad blood between the main event, but between you guys there are huge mutual respect. Where does it come from? Some people have bad blood, some people don't like each other. I have no bad blood toward Jan, but I do want to take his head off, so that's part of the game. Uh, question for Izzy and Paolo. What were you guys just uh, saying to each other while the other two were answering questions? I said I, I like his earrings, he's, he's beautiful. I think my mom has one very similar to his, his <laughs> ring. You wish your mom had beautiful, one very similar. Beautiful, you beautiful. wish your mom had one very similar. Beautiful. Shut the f up before I become your beautiful. dad. Grounded, go to your room. left so I want to do this right now and wait for the weights it's just two kilos so it's normal it's much and it's it's almost nothing but still a lot you know but only in your head <laughs> it's a lot not first time not last time uh, I hate to do this but part of the job
ping pong, it's got weight. 100%, this is fun. Just to do something fun that's not boring or tedious. Can we turn the AC off? Lose your weight, lose your weight, lose your weight. 12-7. 12-7, right. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's that heat. Uh, I'll see you after. Okay. Nice game. Okay. Only Israel loses that much weight playing people. I learned a long time ago not to uh, not to down Israel. Never, ever doubt me. <laughs> Let's go. Finally, a bathtub and my knees don't poke out of. Oh, praise the Lord. Sacrifice to the gods. I look for something in the magazine. Or maybe on TV. Sacrifice to the Thank you all for being here. We are now ready to go. It is the way in for UFC 253. Adesanya versus Costa. First fighter to the scale. Challenging for the UFC Middleweight Championship here tomorrow night. Please welcome Paolo Costa. One eighty-five. One eighty-five. The official weight for Paolo Costa. Our next fighter to the scale, also getting his first UFC Championship opportunity here tomorrow night. Light heavyweight contender Jan Blahovich. 205, the official weight for Jan Blahovich. All right, now we get to the man who will be the last to make the walk here tomorrow night, the man around which this card was built, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion, the last style vendor, Israel Asanya. One hundred and eighty-four pounds, the official weight for the champion, Israel Asanya. All right, next fighter to the scale, set to compete for the UFC's light heavyweight championship here tomorrow night, the number one ranked contender, the Devastator, Dominic Reyes. 205 pounds, the official weight for Dominic Reyes. 